Yo, Game Pass really is the gift that keeps on giving. And today we're going to be taking a close look at the announced games that will be added to the Game Pass for the month of December. There are some great titles here with more than a few of them appearing on day one on Game Pass, which is pretty awesome. This roundup only covers the first couple of weeks of December, so chances are more titles will be added in the second part of the month too. But let's get straight into it. As of today, Anvil will be downloadable on Game Pass and this is actually a day one release for Game Pass. Now, Anvil stands for Ancient Vault Investigation Lab and these guys are an agency that scores the universe looking for stuff left behind by alien civilization. This looks like a fun exploration game where you try to find alien vaults to get what is inside. But before you do this, you have to take on awesome looking boss monsters. Definitely one that might intrigue some of the gamers out there. Also available today is Archvelt. This is another game that is being released on day one for Game Pass. And this is basically a bullet hell kind of game, but it also has some RPG elements in there as well. The world is always changing and there are a ton of enemies that want you dead. Thankfully, you have a bunch of awesome weapons and skills that you can master to put these evil enemies in their place. And this one looks like it's gonna be challenging, but a great deal of fun too. Final Fantasy 13, the sequel, is also available to download on Game Pass today. And there's no denying that the first Final Fantasy 13 game has been on Game Pass for a while now. Well, now you can play the sequel. It has a new battle system and the story feels a bit more personal this time around as well. Of course, you will want to play the first game before jumping on this one. But it's definitely great to know that this is also added to the lineup. Okay, everybody. The meteor landed over that way. Who are you? No, no, Christ. My friend's buried here. She died running from the purge. Another one added to the lineup today is Lawn Mowing Simulation. Now, while the idea of this game called Lawn Mowing Simulation sounds weird, this is actually a very addictive sim game. You are starting your own landscaping business as you take care of some lovely lawns in the great British countryside. It is the kind of game that you will end up playing way longer than you ever thought you would. And certainly one of the games that I probably will add to my downloadable library, as it looks like a pretty decent game to kill some hours. Another game available today is Rubber Bandits, and yet again, this is another day one Game Pass game. This is a beat em up game that is made to be played with friends, and think of this as kind of a mashup game like Power Stones and Streets of Rage, and you will have a good idea of what to expect here. From what I've seen so far, it looks to have a fun lineup of criminals to play as who can use all kinds of crazy weapons. <laughs> Also available today is Stardew Valley. Now, Stardew Valley is one of the most addictive games that you probably would have played. You inherit a farm and it's up to you to bring it back to glory. You have to tend to your farm, crops and livestock. However, there is also a big social aspect of this game where you have to talk and deal with the people who you live with in the town. Definitely a great game. One game that I've actually purchased maybe about two, three years ago, but still worthy and nice to see this game on the Game Pass library. Also available today is Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. Now, while the Warhammer 40k games can be hit or miss, Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector looks like it's going to be one of the better ones. It has an amazing visual aspect to it, but the turn-based gameplay here seems to be a bit fast paced than usually you get with games like this. Definitely one worth checking out, and I'm sure the fans of the series probably have high regards of this specific game. There can be no doubt for doubt. 
begets fear. On the 7th of December, Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator will be downloadable. Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator is available on Game Pass also on day one. And this is a game where you have to buy, sell and even trade organs all around the galaxy. There are these vampire type things that will try and eat the organs that you have. And this game does definitely does sound on the weird side of the fence, but it has a fun sci-fi theme and it looks like it's going to be a pretty unique experience. On the 8th of December, you will be able to play the big bad Halo Infinite. Now, Halo Infinite is one of the biggest games to come to the Xbox Series X and S, but this is also going to be on PC, Xbox One as well. It feels like it has been forever since we went on an adventure with Master Chief. And while we have been able to enjoy the multiplayer for a few weeks now, on December 8th, the Halo Infinite campaign drops and it looks amazing. This is available on day one on Game Pass. Not heroics. We protect humanity, whatever the cost. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. On the 9th of December, One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 will be downloadable on Game Pass. For me, the Warrior series of games are fun and there currently is one on Game Pass, but One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 is coming and it is a lot of fun. This is your typical warrior game where you have to battle hordes of enemies at a time. What makes this cool is that it is based on the awesome One Piece anime series. And for those who really love that series, this definitely will be the game that you may want to check out. <laughs> On December 14th, we get an opportunity to download Alien Fireteam Elite on Game Pass. Now, if you like co-op shooters, Alien Fireteam Elite is a game that you have to certainly try out. This is a third person shooter where you and your squad are dropped into an alien hell where you have to try and contain and fight off the xenomorphs that want to eat you. Certainly sounds like a crazy concept, but definitely looks like a pretty decent game. Last but not least, and on the 14th of December, you will be able to download Among Us. Now, remember when Among Us was the biggest game in the world for a short while? Well, thanks to Game Pass, the game could get a big boost in players. This is a fun game to play with friends as you try to figure out who is a killer and who is not. If you've not already played Among Us, now is certainly the perfect chance for you to jump in and definitely a great game to see added to the Game Pass library. Anyway, peeps, that was a quick overview of what's coming to Game Pass for the first couple of weeks of the month definitely a barrage of hot games dropping this month and i'm sure there will be more announcements coming in the next couple of weeks or so for some games that will potentially be dropping towards the latter part of december as always if you did enjoy this quick urban gameplay video be sure to smash the like button do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so before do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well as to what you think about the current offering of some of these games that will be dropping on game pass from today onwards with all of that being said until next urban gameplay video we definitely say peace out peeps make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos